What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be reacting to some TikToks from cisgender people complaining about being called cisgender. You'd be surprised by how many people get offended when they're called cisgender. For any of you guys that don't know what cisgender means, it's pretty much the opposite of what it means to be transgender. I've come across a lot of TikToks from people complaining about being called cisgender. They don't want anything to do with it. And I don't mean to laugh, I mean, I totally do. But like, I don't really mean to laugh because it's just sad how upset they get by the term. And Keep in mind, the term is a medical term and it's been around for quite some time now. Before we hop into it though, my name's Kyle, AKA Prince Kyle, don't forget it. And I have an Instagram as well as a TikTok where I share my female to male transition as well as give tips to anybody that would like to hear about it. So without further ado, disclaimer, I'm really not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm not trying to come for anybody's life. I'm just trying to educate in a funny-ish way. And I mean, the videos speak for themselves. It's not me being funny, it's it's the videos that are funny. The American gentleman here. Oh, you hear that guys? He's American. <laughs> and I am not cisgender. I don't identify as cisgender and I don't wanna be cisgender. Oh, so you're trans. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, if you need to be educated and understand how your transition is going to look in the future. Look at some of my videos. I hope it goes well for you. <laughs> and why is this? It's not because I'm gay. No, I don't want to be gay either. What does gay have to do with being cisgender? See guys, this is the problem. People on the internet try so hard to be against something but have no education on the topics they're trying to disagree with. I am 100% okay with people disagreeing with my transition and everything about it. If you educate yourself, if you don't have any facts or any common sense about what you're trying to disagree about, you, you, don't, you shouldn't even have a right to disagree because you haven't educated yourself enough to even know what you're talking about. But this cisgender, this made up word that somebody wants to make up and put on us, that sounds belittling. I, s I already said earlier, it's, it's, not, it's not a made up word, right? It's a, it's a medical term and uh, it's been around for quite a while. I don't know why a lot of um, cisgender people think that the term was just made up overnight by the trans community. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that. Calling a cis? sounds like sissy to me so every time I hear people say it and they almost say it with disdain like trying to make fun of us calling us a sis if you look at the way it's spelled you would see that it's not derogatory and it has absolutely nothing to do with being a sissy if it did then I would it would be called sissy gender and I last I checked it's not called sissy gender but uh pop off King next video <laughs> Hey family, I was having a conversation in my comments about the term cis woman and I told the person that I did not like that title and I didn't want to be called that. And they told me that being called a cis woman is not derogatory, that it is not degrading. It's just a term that is being used to tell what type of woman that you are. And my thing about it is, I am a woman. I'm not a type of woman. For you to say, I don't want to be a type of woman. I'm just a woman. Okay, well then practice what you preach. What, what would you like to be called when it comes to being a black woman versus a white woman? You just want to be a woman, but I bet you you would be real quick to say, nah, I want you, I want you to respect that I am a black woman. I agree with that. You should be able to show your blackness as a woman and not just be called a woman. So keep that same energy when it has to do with being cisgender. You are cisgender, you are a cisgender woman and there are transgender women. It is types of women, same as a black woman, a white woman and a Hispanic woman. It's the same thing, so keep the energy. If you're gonna pull that, keep the energy. That I need labels. Now I understand that there are a group of people who do need these labels, but I am not one of them. And we've already had to learn pronouns. And now you're talking about we have to go ahead and accept adjectives for ourselves. So I'm making a PSA. Do not call me a cis woman. I am not a cis woman. I am a woman. Keep it there. 
she's very passionate about her words. If you were assigned female at birth and you align with that for the rest of your life, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you are a cisgender woman. And from what I can see, she looks like an African-American woman. I'm pretty sure she would like to be recognized as a African-American woman because that is what she is. So yes, there are types of women. There are all different types of women by skin color, by identities, by anything. Here's another one. I'm not a cis woman, I'm a woman. Correct. So then again, keep that energy for trans women. When a trans woman wants to say, trans women are women, keep the energy and be consistent. It's like so hypocritical because it's like some cis people want their basic rights, which they should have. But then when it comes to trans people, it's like, no, 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 trans women are not women, but, 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 but cis women aren't cis, but they're women. Like you got, you got to keep it. Keep everything the same, be consistent. Well, what about cisgender women who unfortunately cannot carry their own children because of whatever reason? Are they not women now? A lot of people try and justify womanhood or manhood through what the body can do physically and it is so inaccurate because then you are taking away what certain people can't do because of how they were born. So, if somebody wants to go as far as to say, oh, well, if you don't have a period, then you're not a woman. So what about cisgender women who never had a period because of a medical reason? They don't get the right to say they're a woman? Hey, everybody. Hey. I just want to let you guys know, I am a man. Good to know. Not a cisgendered man, because calling someone a cis man is a derogatory term. Again, the terms are spelled entirely different. And no, it has absolutely nothing to do with being a sissy. And it's crazy how fragile some of these cisgender men's masculinity is that they are so offended by the term cis. I can't. Fragile masculinity just makes me so uncomfortably cringed out. And it's like, it's 2023. If you are that sensitive, this isn't the world to live in. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Cause if you, if you get offended by that, then I wonder how your everyday life goes. Calling someone a cis woman is a derogatory term. How stupid people can be about pronouns and this and that is bullcrap. It's not bullcrap. What's bullcrap is you not educating yourself to know the difference between cis, C-I-S, and sissy, S-I-S-S-Y. Calling anyone a cis of anything is a derogatory term. There's no way around it. There's every way around it, because <laughs> it's not. That's derogatory. That's messed up. It's derogatory. It's messed up. I promise, guys, I'm really not a mean person, but, like, some people set themselves up like they really do. He seems like a genuine guy, but, like, he just isn't educated when it comes to this stuff. And it just really frustrates me because it's like, I don't know. There's a lot of the things I don't agree with in life because I'm human. They're... All of us have at least one thing where we don't agree with somebody's decisions in life. It's just a part of being human. When we don't understand something, we're quick to just be like, nope, that does not exist. You're weird for that. It's just what we do naturally. But I know to keep my mouth shut if I'm not educated on something. Like, I see so many things on social media where I'm just like, why? Why are you doing that? But like, I don't know enough about somebody's life to give a or to comment on it or to be rude about it because one, like it doesn't pay my bills to care. And two, like I don't know what it's like to be someone else. And three, if I'm not educated on it, like I'm not gonna set myself up for failure to try and speak on it. So it's just like, it's crazy that these people are just so aggravated with something they just don't understand. And so many people think, oh, well, I don't go through it. It does not exist. 
And that's what the issue is when it comes to being transgender. If people don't get it, they're like, yeah, no, you're full of bull****. But yeah, you guys, let me know what you think about the word cisgender. Do you think it's derogatory? I genuinely want to know. If any of you guys are cisgender, I really want to know your guys' input on the term. At the end of the day, it is a medical term, and it is what we call people whose identity matches that of their sex. It's really very simple, so I don't even know why people think it's derogatory. I don't understand how it's offensive. I mean, what do you want us to call you, transgender? I, I know you don't want that, so I mean, the only thing that I guess it's labeling you guys as or categorizing you guys as is just telling that you're not transgender. And to me, that that would make you feel good because from what it sounds like is you don't want to be called trans. Apparently that's frowned upon in your mind. So wouldn't you want to be called the opposite? I don't know. Let me know. But that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys enjoyed my reaction videos. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost 40,000 subscribers and I'm doing a giveaway very, very soon. So until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.